I think it helps uh, in the sense of creating an inner critic or inner reader who can evaluate the work. Uh, if you're not a reader, then uh, if you look at your own work, of course, there are always exceptions. Uh, there are always exceptions, and you can say that I'm writing in a different form or a different, uh, maybe it's something that has never been like where Arma was in the one. Why are the beautiful? <laughs> you can say that. But uh, generally, for most of us, if you're a good reader, it's easy to read your own work and to revise it and to and to put it in a form where it belongs to a genre or to a or what I say, kind of a world culture of writing you know, that, that people expect. But there are always exceptions, and uh, although I think it's like any when you're doing something new. Once you master the old, then you're comfortable with the new. You don't arrive at the new by accident. It's when you master it that you that somehow like you can do some what Gabriel Marquez did, you know, that he did something different. But of course, he spent a long time learning. Well, partly, but you know, when I was growing up, I was reading. Tanzanian writers, but they, they exist except in, in wrote those who wrote Swahili poetry. Because uh, as I said, it, at some point writing culture is, is, has become a world culture. And you just read a good story and if it's a good story wherever it's set, it will touch you. I was very skeptical about one Canadian author, you know, her writing was set in a small town, I would not name her, in Ontario, and I said, you know, what does that kind of setting have to do with my life? I come from the tropics, people shout at each other, they live in, close to each other, they live in congested houses, the parents yell at their kids, and here you have a straight list, very, well, what I have, waspish background, Protestant, but then one day I was forced to read her whole collection because I was a member of a jury. And then I realized that, yeah, no, it does touch, touch me. There is a strength in the writing that that was really, it was a great, great collection. So wherever the book is set, you know, there is something that, uh, that will touch you. And this is what in your writing also tries to do, to bridge that gap. When you write something from here and read somewhere in South America or wherever, people will know, yes, of course, I was, because at the end of the day, we are all human. This is that basic humanity in all of us that uh, we appeal to. And uh, if you can touch that in your writing, then you know, it's, it's, you've done it. Short stories are fast to read, so you know, 